all emotions are regulated differently um, and maybe we could talk for a moment or two about the emotion of disgust. Uh, one of my favorite emotions as it happens. So the first thing we would ask is when does disgust fit the facts? And disgust would fit the facts when there is a risk of contamination. Um, and it was from evolution when we were at risk of encountering some toxic substance um, and ingesting that substance. And so the signature features of disgust are quite distinct. We have a twist to the side and it's an upper body twist, that's the interesting thing. And we have a lip curl and we think when our um, lips were bigger in evolution, if you look back at cavemen, they had larger features that that would block off one nostril and um, that your eyes would narrow. So you're really limiting the amount of contact that you have with the thing that disgusts you. And here's an interesting fact. It's an upper body twist because in evolution, you would want to turn away from the toxin, but not run round in it because if you ran round in it, you would stir up the, um, the atmosphere and take in more of the toxin. So why does this even matter? Well, if you were treating disgust, you would want to make sure that you dealt with some of these bodily features. And you would want to get someone to turn back straight on the thing that disgusted them if it was inappropriate disgust and it didn't fit the facts and you would want them to speak in a non-disgust voice you'd want to block this lip curling keep them forward and act opposite to that disgust for example if someone had an eating disorder and they were disgusted by perfectly normal food then you would want to block these um, features, signature features of disgust. Um, if you come along to the workshop, I will be telling you more about this stuff and about other emotions um, and how you treat those with opposite action. I hope to see you then.